Okay, let's have a look here at this question now. 29. A truck uses gas at that rate where V represents speed of the truck, G represents the gallons of fuel per mile. Gallons of fuel per mile. At what speed is the fuel consumption minimized? Okay, so G derivative V equals A minus B over V squared. And we want that to equal zero. So that means V would equal uh, root B over A. Okay. And let's confirm. Uh, that would be, now I'm assuming A and B are positive. It never actually says that. I better mention that. Better mention that in a ticket. Uh, that would be um, 2 B over V cubed, which is a positive, uh, which therefore is a minimum. Okay, for the following exercise, consider a limousine that gets that many miles a gallon at speed V. Okay, cost. Uh, okay. Find the cost per mile at speed V. Okay, so M, uh, okay, the cost. For the following exercise, consider a limousine that gets, the, oh, that's a miles per gallon. Okay, so at speed V, what's the cost per mile? The cost for one mile, basically, at speed V. Okay, okay. Distance, speed, time. Distance, which is Uh, distance, which is speed multiplied by time. So 1 would equal uh, the speed, V, uh, huh. which way do I want to do this now? Okay, so the cost for one mile. Well, first we need to get the time because the chauffeur is $15 an hour. So the time is the distance, which is one, over the speed, which is V, times 15. Ah, that's that part. No, that's not that part. That's unrelated. Uh, okay, so that's the chauffeur cost. And then uh, the gallon the, the gasoline cost. So this is miles per gallon. Oh, why did the American system? Ugh. Miles per gallon. So I'm assuming the reciprocal then is gallons per mile. Gallons per mile will be 5 over 120 minus 2V times 3.5. So that would be 17.5. Okay, and then 331. The cheapest driving speed. So the derivative of the cost would be minus 15 over v squared minus 17.5 over 120 minus 2v squared. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1, and multiply by the inside derivative, which is 2. So 17.5 times 2 is 35. 
and uh, we want that to equal zero. So that means 35 over 120 minus 2b squared equals 15 over b squared. Uh, square root everything. Um, so root 35 over 120 minus 2b equals root 15 over v. Uh, the v has to be positive. Uh, I guess there could be a plus minus situation here. But I don't think we have to consider that. Let's continue. So root 35b equals 120 root 15 minus 2 root 15b. And so b equals Okay, 120 divided by, thirty four point oh, yeah, so thirty four, roughly thirty four miles per hour. Check the answer. Tray tray one. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what I got. Thirty five point oh one eight. So yeah, about thirty five. Well, it kind of seems a little bit silly to say point oh two, um, because uh, <laughs> the speedometer can only be whole numbers. So I feel like 34 is a better answer here. Let's con you can confirm it's the the minimum by getting the second derivative to be a maximum uh, a, a positive. So the second derivative would equal 30 over b cubed minus 70 over 120 minus 2b squared and then multiply by 2, so that's 140, so that's a positive, which makes it a minimum, for sure. Yeah, okay, I'm going to open up a ticket about that.